First, we turn to meteorologist Christy Carter to give you an idea on this week's weather. What's the forecast, Christy? Well, we'll actually give you that forecast a little bit later in the show, so you're going to have to hold on for that. But let's go ahead and take a look at that day planner for tomorrow. If we actually look at it, you'll see 7 a.m., 32 degrees, 12 p.m., 49 degrees. But by 3 p.m. tomorrow, a 52-degree temperature. So it's going to be pretty nice, a little bit warmer than it was yesterday. Might be a little windy, but not too bad. But we'll have more in the forecast coming up later. Welcome back to Newswatch 18. I'm Christy Carter with your Cyclone Weather. Tonight, let's take a look at what we had today. We saw a high of 48, low of 17. It was quite chilly when we walked out there this morning. But let's take a look at this rainfall. We're actually a little bit closer to normal, only about an inch under because we got that nice rainstorm on Sunday. It was actually pretty cold rain, but at least it was some needed precipitation. Taking a look at our current temps around the state, 40 degrees in Ames, 35 up in Mason City, 38 down in Ottumwa. Things are looking pretty chilly and those temperatures are going to keep dropping as the night goes on. Let's take a look at those current winds. We have some southeast winds, 8 miles an hour in Ames, 3 miles an hour over in Sioux City. Those are pretty light, so they aren't really going to be a big deal tonight. Tonight's lows, 31 here in Ames, 30 up in Mason City, 29 over in Waterloo. So it's actually not going to be quite as cold as it was yesterday. So it's going to be a little bit nicer when you guys get up for tomorrow. So 52 in Ames for tomorrow's high, 54 over in Council Bluffs, 52 over in Sioux City. A little bit warmer than it was today. And if we look around the region, seeing about the same thing, except you actually have some 60 degree temperatures for the high tomorrow in Hayes, Kansas. So it'll be really nice down there. Let's take a look at our clouds and radar as we take a look at this as it moves on. We'll actually see these clouds move into Iowa overnight. So it's gonna be a little bit cloudy and then it's gonna start to clear up in the morning. We'll take a more look at that just in a few minutes. Let's take a look over here at Montana. This is basically the biggest weather that's going on for tonight. We have the winter weather advisory out. Otherwise, not too much going on along most of the country. So let's go ahead and move on and look a little bit closer to home. Let's look at these clouds that are going to start moving in tonight. So they started moving in as the day actually gone, went on and they'll move, move through overnight and they'll be gone within the early morning hours. So that'll be pretty nice. Let's take a look at the future cast. Here there's not too much that's going to go on for most the of the next two days at least. So we have this low pressure system that's going to start coming in with this cold front. It's going to drop temperatures a little bit as we head into the weekend. But we'll take a look at that in just a second. So one more time to recap. Tonight, 31 degrees. Kind of chilly, but not nearly as chilly as it was yesterday. Tomorrow, 52. Slightly warmer. It's actually going to be pretty nice in there. And if we take a look at that long range forecast, we see Wednesday, 49. And then you see that cold front start to come through. That'll drop temperatures only slightly for Friday. And into the weekend, things are looking pretty much the same. Lows are sitting in the upper 30s, so not going to be too bad for the rest of the week. And with that, I'll send it back to the desk.